guys, it's Jackie and I'm here inside my bathtub because I'm going to do the what's in my shower tag video. I've seen a lot of these videos going around YouTube and I don't know why but I just I find them so entertaining to watch. So I thought I would do the what's in my shower tag video. So let's go ahead and get started. So here I have my little shower caddy and I actually really dislike it because it's so tiny and it like barely holds anything. But when I first moved into my apartment, um, this was my very first apartment ever. So this is my first like living on my own experience. So I just picked up the first caddy that I saw. I didn't really pay any attention to it and I realize now it's way too small. But um, it is what it is and I made it work for me. So. Um, here I have my little loofah ball, and it's just a pink one, nothing nothing special. Mm, oh my gosh, it smells like one of my body washes, which I'll show you right now. Mm, it smells so good. So the other little hook here, I have my foot scrubber, yuck. But um, this is one of those things you just need because unless you want to have really dry, rough feet. So I use this to scrub my feet, scrub the top, scrub the bottoms, and it has these like hard parts that you can use if like you have really dry skin or calluses or anything like that. You can scrub them off, and I'm very ticklish, so every time like I go to get a pedicure, like they do, you know, they use this kind of stuff, and I'm just like, eh, so I'd rather do it myself because I can scrub and it's not, it's not as tickly. Is that a word? And here in the middle, I ha there's like the little space for a bar of soap. And yes, I do have a bar of soap, but I don't use it because I don't like to use um, bar of soap because, I don't know. One, it dries out your skin, and two, I just, I don't know why it's weird to me to hold a bar of soap and like rub it on my body. i rather use the little loofah. Um, but this is for Johnny. Um, I live alone, but sometimes Johnny stays the night and he needs to shower, so um, this is for him because he likes to use a bar of soap. Moving up here, um, I have my Venus razor, which I don't use too often because I use an epilator to remove all my hair, like on my legs and on my underarms, all that stuff. Um, let me know in the comments if you guys would like a separate video all about what an epilator is and how it works and all that stuff. So right behind my razor, I have my absolute favorite shampoo and conditioner at the moment. It's the Macadamia Natural Oil. Um, I have the Rejuvenating Shampoo right here and the Nourishing Leave-In Cream right here and I love these so much. They smell amazing. They leave my hair feeling so soft and silky and these are just my absolute favorites. And right next to it, I have some more shampoo and conditioners. I have a lot of shampoo and conditioners in my shower because I like to switch things up a lot. And especially because this one, even though it's my favorite, it's a little more on the pricey side, so I don't use it as often. I use it about once or twice a week. But um, this one, this is, I believe, from the drugstore, but I'm not 100% sure because I got this in my Pop Sugar Must Have bag. But this is the Clear Scalp and Hair Therapy Total Care Nourishing Shampoo, and I have the Matching Nourishing Conditioner as well. So I use these more on a daily basis, even though I don't wash my hair every day. But when I do, I mainly use this. I kind of use this just like when I want to treat my hair, like, you know, I don't know. It's like a shopping spree for my hair. You can't do it all the time, but when you do, you, you know, treat yourself. I don't know why I said that. That was weird. But, yeah, I use this one more often, but these ones are my absolute favorites. I'll have links to everything where you can purchase them down below for you guys if you're interested. So, that is everything I have here on my little shower caddy. And here's my little shower, too, in case you wanted to know where the water came out. I don't know. So, now, I have some stuff up there because it all doesn't fit here. So we gotta move up there and my face is gonna disappear for a little bit. So the first thing I have up here is my Lush 9 to 5 Cleansing Lotion. I've talked about this before. I used to like it, but I've, I've just been experimenting with so many different skincare products that this one just does not impress me as much anymore. So I have it still just because I'm trying to use it up and get rid of it, but um, I definitely found other skincare products that work a lot better than this one. So right behind my Lush cleanser, I have this Terex um, Hair Care Original Crema, and this is a daily conditioner, but I use this about once a week, um, and I leave it in my hair for about 15 minutes. I go from root to ends, and I just keep it in my hair for about 15 minutes, and it makes my hair feel really soft, and 
Um, yeah, so I like it so far. This is a pretty new product um, for me out of like everything in here. So this is pretty new, so I'm still testing it out. But I like to experiment with um, deep conditioners because I like to try different ones. So this is the one I'm testing out right now. And over here I have two of my body washes and these are both from Tone and if you watched one of my, um, let me see, it was I think a favorites video. I talked about how I really liked the Tone body washes. Oh my gosh, my arm is getting so tired. So the company actually sent me two of their body washes, which I am so happy about because they smell amazing. You can get these at the drugstore though. They are very, very affordable. Um, this one right here is the Moisturizing Cocoa Butter Mango Splash Body Wash. Oh my gosh, it smells so yummy. So right behind it, I have my Tone Holiday Fruit Peel Edition Alpha Hydroxy Fruit Acids Body Wash. And this is also um, an exfoliator too. And this is a limited edition because it's part of their holiday collection, I believe. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. This one smells like apples and kiwis and like all those yummy kind of fruits. So I love those. Tone body washes smell amazing. And um, let me come back down. Hi again. So like I was saying up there, I really like body washes. And especially if you can find them at an affordable price like the Tone ones, that's like oh, amazing. So moving down over here, I have a little ledge here. See? Ta-da! I'm going to zoom you in now. So right here, my shower has this little ledge right here, and I keep my It's Raining Men shower gel from Lush, and this is, oh my gosh, it smells so good. It's like my absolute favorite body wash, but it is more on the pricey side. It's like a $20 body wash. So that's why I, I use the Tone ones a lot more, because they're very, very affordable, but this one just smells so good. It smells like honey, and it's just really sweet and delicious, and that's what my little loofah smells like right now. It smells like honey, and I love it. And right next to my shower gel, I have Origins Never a Dull Moment um, Skin Brightening Face Cleanser. And I actually used to work for Origins, and um, they're a great skincare line. They have a lot of natural products, and um, this one in particular I really like because it smells so good. It smells like papaya, and it's just so delicious. I'm almost out of it, as you can tell, but um, I keep it in here just because, you know, I still have a little bit left, and I'm just using it up. It smells so good. But, yeah, I, I, I only like it for the smell. Like, to be honest, that's the reason why I purchased it. Just because the smell is amazing. But as far as, like, effectiveness goes, um, this one isn't, like, over-the-top amazing. It's just the smell that really got me. So on the opposite side of this guy, I have another little ledge over there. So I'm going to zoom you guys in, and you can see what's over there. So here on my second ledge, I have my Origins Modern Friction Exfoliator, which is a really nice exfoliator to use um, just to get rid of all that dead skin cells. So I use this about once or twice a week, depending on how my skin feels. If my skin feels really dry and rough that day, I'll use this, and then it feels like baby butt smooth again. So I really like this exfoliator, and it's actually one of Origins' top sellers, so definitely recommend this one. And right next to it, I have my Pond's Deep Cleanser, um, or wait, what does it say? It says Pond's Deep Cleanser and Makeup Remover, and I use this to remove my makeup in the shower. Uh, if I'm just doing my regular night routine and I'm not showering at night, I will take off my makeup remover with my Michael Todd's True Organics Honey and Oats Cleanser, which I love, but this I use just if I'm taking off my makeup in the shower, so... I have that there, so now let's move up to the top because there's another ledge way up there that I want to show you guys. So up here I have more hair stuff, so here I have my absolute favorite deep conditioner which is the Macadamia Natural Oil Deep Repair Mask, is that what it's called? Yeah, Deep Repair Mask, and this one I'm currently using right now, and this is like my backup because I just love this stuff so much. So I am trying out that other deep, um, deep conditioner that I showed you over on that side, but this one is just like my all-time favorite that I will always, always love. And next to my deep conditioner, I have uh, another shampoo and conditioner, and this is by the brand Fast, and this claims to help your hair grow longer, stronger, faster. So that's why I'm testing them out, because I am trying to grow my hair. Do you guys remember when I had my short bob? 
So, <laughs> I am trying to grow my hair out. So, that's it for my what's in my shower tag. I feel like that was a really boring video. Um, if it is, I'm really sorry. Don't worry, I'll have new videos up soon. And... Yeah, so let me know in the comments what's in your shower and or like what your favorite thing in your shower is. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, have a magical day. Hey, I'm in love.